As part of our response to the government restrictions on meetings of over 100 people, we have decided to move all of our services online. And that begins this Sunday. We're making preparations for that even now and wanted to let you know what to expect and how you can prepare. Our services will be held at our regular service times at 8.30, 10.30, and 6, but will be hosted on the website gbconline.org.au. You can go to that website and watch any of those services at those times. What we're encouraging our congregation members to do, though, is to sign up. Now keep in mind, you can watch the services without signing up. But if you do sign up, it'll ask you for your name, an email address, and a password, and then you're able to do things like upload a photo of yourself. That's not absolutely necessary either, but we would love for you to do that. There's a whole bunch of functionality about this website that we're hoping to explore in the weeks to come. For instance, there's the capacity to do online chats during or after the service. There's also capacity for prayer requests and to pray for one another, again, in the online place. We're not exactly certain how we're going to do that, and so this week we're just trying to get us off the ground rather than anything else. But when it comes to it, and we're actually able to have those chats or pray with people, we'd love to be able to see a photo of who it is that we're speaking with and who it is that we're praying with. So please, sign up. Put in your name, email address, password, and choose a photo of yourself so we know who it is that we're speaking to. On Sunday, we'd encourage you to come prepared for the service. These services will not be able to be paused while they are playing. And so we'd really encourage you to come a little bit early. Be there at 8.25. Have your Bible with you, something to take some notes with, your phone. Have your cup of tea beforehand. If you have children in the younger preschool area in particular, we'd encourage you to have a couple of pieces of paper and some colored pencils or uh, texts or crayons for a special craft that will be given to them to do during the message part of the service. But come ready and come prepared to participate. One of the challenges that we're going to face as a community of faith around the online experience is treating it like passive entertainment. And we really want to help each of us to try to experience this as worship, to participate as best we can. So as I said, come prepared. Have a Bible with you. Uh, be prepared to sing along. Uh, have your phone or something else to take some notes with. And be as ready as you can to worship and experience God together, even though this is going to feel a little bit strange. The service itself will run for about an hour and will contain many of the same things that we normally have in a service. There will be some prayers and some opportunities for us to think about where we've seen God at work. There will be a Bible reading, a message, a kid's spot, and an opportunity for worship, albeit a little bit differently than we might normally do. But we trust that this experience will help you not only experience God, but feel connected to the wider community of faith all across the Sutherland Shire. If you do decide to meet with other people in your home, we think that's fantastic, but would encourage you to keep in mind the protocols around the best health practices. So make sure that you can maintain some safe physical distances, practice good hygiene and hand washing, particularly around the serving and eating of any food. This is just the first step of our response to the coronavirus and what we're being called to do by the community. There's a whole lot more that we need to unfold and unpack in the weeks to come. For instance, we need to try to figure out how we're going to stay connected with those who cannot access an online service. Trust me, we're working away at it. We'd certainly appreciate your prayers, we really appreciate your patience, and we look forward to your participation as we seek to continue to respond to the invitation of God, even in these extraordinary and somewhat strange times. Hope to see you on Sunday at 8.30, 10.30, or 6 p.m. Until then, God bless.